welcome back. With us right now is John Luby of the Duplicate Bridge Club. You are the president of that club. I am club. the president. Nice to see you again. <laughs> I was telling John, uh, you know, when you were on the, the board, we, we'd see you quite frequently. I don't see you as much as I used to, and it's great to have you back today. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Now, we're going to kind of go over what the Bridge Club is and what Duplicate Bridge Club is, because, or, because people, they know the game of bridge, they've heard of Duplicate Bridge, but uh, they can be confused by what's the difference if there is one. Right, well, at the Bridge Club, we play, there's about 200 people a day that are playing bridge. Mm -hmm. We play Monday through Saturday and then three Sundays a month. So we, we're playing bridge almost every day there. Right. And duplicate bridge is a little different than progressive bridge or, or rubber bridge uh, in that everybody plays the same hand. So that you are scored on how you play that hand relative to okay. everybody else okay. that has played that hand. And so it becomes a great competition. Uh, you know, you want to improve your skills compared to, you know, uh, you know there's different levels of uh, people that have played for 50 years and some that have played for a couple years. Mm -hmm. So those are <clears throat> stratified. So you, you compete against people at your own level. You don't have to compete against the pros. So it's, it's a fun game and that you keep con, you know, continuing to improve. Yeah, so. and I can see where if you're all starting at the same hand, it, it becomes equal it's at equal. that point. It doesn't, in, in rubber bridge or progressive bridge, it kind of depends on your luck of how good of cards you got. Right. Com you know, so whether, you know, because no one plays the same hand after you're done playing mm -hmm. a hand, it's shuffled and you go on to the next hand. But with duplicate, everybody plays the same hands. So you, you mentioned rubber bridge. Why is it called well, that? Well, rubber bridge is kind of a, another term for progressive bridge. And okay. You play until everybody get until you get a hundred <clears throat> points. Okay. And the first two games that you get a hundred points, you you win. So that's how the old progressive bridge or rubber bridge was played. Are more people playing duplicate bridge now? Much general? more. Okay. I, I, you know, they, well, in our we have about two hundred people a day. There's only uh, I think there's well there's a couple. Uh, Wednesday evenings there's a progressive game and Thursday afternoons there's a progressive game and I believe there's another progressive game at the towers okay so it's not as prevalent is duplicate bridge easier to learn because everyone starts with the same hand actually it's I don't know that it's any easier <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, I think it's because uh, you basically learn the same systems you're bidding okay. systems uh, you play the hand and that type of a thing so uh, I think it's about the same as far as, you have to learn the basics okay. of bridge. Okay, now let's talk about that, how to, le to learn to play bridge. I know you folks often have uh, classes. You've had a class in the past called Lid Learn Bridge, I think in a learn day. Learn Bridge in a day. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, <laughs> Learn Bridge a day class starts in January. Okay. And uh, last year we had about 70 people that took wow. that class. And from that class, we've kept about 40 Mm -hmm. that uh, uh, you really can't learn bridge in a day. But you can learn the basics of bridge in a day. If you say you've never played before okay. and you want to learn to play bridge, that class is a really good class to take. And then there's a follow-up on Saturday mornings basically to learn some of the conventions, learn the play of the hand, learn defense. So, you know, you, uh, and there's about 40 people that have kept with that and are still playing bridge from that class. And one of the neat things about that is that you uh, are not playing against more experienced players mm -hmm. that may not have the patience with a beginner. So you're, everybody's at the same level, and it's become a really fun group. That's uh, you know, and we're planning on doing that again next January. Do another Learn Bridge in a day and a follow-up class, and add to that group so that. Every, okay. Uh, now the the other thing we're doing is in October. We're going to start a kind of a new learn, beginning bridge, and that we're not going to start off learning conventions. We're going to start off just learning play of the hand, okay. and learning conventions later. What are what is what's the difference? Well, I don't know what conventions there's conventions are. is that you have bids that uh, have different meanings. Okay. Uh, so that uh, say you know somebody bids one no trump or something like that, and then bid two clubs. Well, a two club bid has nothing to do about clubs. It's a convention that says you have, you know, one of the majors. So okay. those are things that <laughs> you, you just lost me. But <laughs> yeah, well, you learn, 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 learn a lot of people, yeah. but those are things you learn as you take you know, okay. take courses. 
but in, in our classes that we're starting in October, we're just, it's really a good class for a route beginner that has never played cards before, that you learn play of the hand, you learn okay. that an ace is stronger than a king, you know, you learn the basics where, and then we'll get into the learn bridge in a day where you may learn some of the other conventions later on. But it's a good route for somebody that's never played bridge that may want to start to learn how to do it. What about continuing classes throughout the year? Well, that's the other thing. We have, a, we have classes every month to continuing okay. to learn and to improve your skills to play mm -hmm. bridge. Actually, there's a class today taught by Marjorie Meslin, who's a grand life master on doubles and redoubles. Okay. And, you know, typically in the past, a double meant that you were doubling for penalty. Well, now it can mean a lot of different things. It can mean, partner, I need your longest suit, or partner, I have the other major. So those are things are, that you learn ongoing, and you'll have classes on defense. We'll have classes on play of the hand, or on specific uh, conventions. Okay. So those are the things that we do every month that uh, some of our experts come and teach us to help us learn more bridge. You mentioned partner is, uh, you know, we, even if you don't know about bridge, most people have heard that term before. Does that mean you always play with a team member? Are you playing against them? How does that work? Well, you play with a partner against another team. Okay. And uh, so uh, that's one of the social parts of bridge is mm -hmm. that, you know, you, there's l many people that play with different partners. I happen to play with my wife all the time. Right. And we travel and go to tournaments and, you know, we'll, we'll play bridge one day, play golf one day. And it works out between you and two. It works out. All right. Uh, we've learned not to <laughs> criticize each other's <laughs> okay. play. And so we, we, it's one of the things we love about bridge. Yeah, I remember, uh, you know, you watch the old reruns of I Love Lucy and they would always be playing bridge and there was always you know episodes about them getting an it's argument. It's very so easy to get critical and I don't know, yeah. that's one of the things you learn that your partner is your best friend at the table. Yeah. Not the opponents. Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, tournaments, there's tournaments for beginners? Well, well there's uh, there's lots of tournaments. Uh, there's sectional tournaments and regional tournaments and we have, we have a unit game tournament once a month at our mm -hmm. club. We have sectionals at our club and uh, the, one of the, there's several big tournaments that happen in our area. One of them's coming up is the Orange County Regional. Okay. And you have people from all over the country coming to this regional tournament. It's held in Irvine this year. And uh, there's, there again, it's stratified. So this year especially, they're targeting beginning bridge players. Okay. So they're allowing uh, people that have between zero and 20 points to play for free at that tournament. Oh, that's to nice. To expose them to you know, tournament bridge. And they'll have, uh, I think they're gonna have a free lunch. We're providing bus service from our club to the Orange County tournament uh, to get people to come. Nice. Uh, and, and so we're, it's just a, a good exposure to the, the world of bridge. And then, you know, once you advance, you play at different levels, you, you know, that you become more experienced. But we're, the, they're encouraging beginners bridge to participate. When it comes to beginners, I know bridge is, you're always learning, but how long would you say from that a beginner can become comfortable enough? Would it be a few months? And I would let's say, just say they, they go maybe every week or every other week and keep up with it. Well, you know, <clears throat> I think like the people that started back in January, right. now are pretty comfortable playing. But they've okay. had classes every Saturday. Right. And, you know, some of them started off, they didn't know an ace from a jack. Right. And didn't know anything. But they've learned the process of, you know, playing the hand, and now they're pretty comfortable playing. You know, they're still going to be intimidated by playing against very experienced players. Right. But if they can play within their group, uh, it's fun, and, and they have a great time. They become friends within that uh, beginning bridge class. All right, and that's what it is, right? It is. It's, it's a, a social... social. Uh, organization and, and we're encouraging you know uh, new players to come and learn and you know sometimes bridge gets a bad reputation of you know being, being grumpy and that kind of thing yeah and I think part of that is when you play against uh, more experienced players some of them aren't as patient as they should be mm -hmm. but if you can play within a group that's your your stratus I think you'll have a lot of fun all right, and I want to tell people that if they want more information about this they have their own website it's called Laguna Bridge Dot com. There it is on the screen, so it's very easy. There's a calendar there, there's a list of tournaments, events, 
all kinds of or things. Or just come by out. and you know watch us, see what's going on. We'll be happy to answer questions and and line you up with a partner or and teach you how to play bridge. All right, at Clubhouse Seven, and you're there every day. Every day. Okay. Is at what time does it open up? The usually? game starts at twelve thirty. Okay. Now on Saturday mornings we're doing a zero to twenty. Uh, which is a beginning bridge right. class that's mentored. You have people say, well, what should I bid? They'll help you do the bidding. Okay. And so those are for areas where you can have somebody help you until you get a certain number of master points. All right, very good. Good to see you again. Good to Always see you. Always a pleasure. And uh, folks, if you ever wanted to learn to play the game of bridge, this is the community to do it in. As you uh, can see, they have all kinds of classes and people who volunteer to help and get you going. So the website again is Laguna Bridge. Dot com and from there have a lot of fun learn a new game and most importantly you're going to learn a lot you're going to learn you're going to uh, know a lot more people and that social interaction is it's great really time. important good to see you we'll be right back thank you very good hi we're the whites i'm susie and i'm richard we're sure the amount of Medicare material you get in the mail is overwhelming. We've seen those dining room tables. No wonder it's confusing. As Medicare brokers, we just don't offer one plan. We can do analysis of the various plans available in one meeting. Remember, your needs are different than that of your neighbors. Don't pick a plan based on your neighbor's circumstances. We're here all year long and look forward to helping you.